हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग डिमांड कर्व मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग डिमांड कर्व इज ऑल्सो रेफर्ड एज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इट कैन ऑल्सो बी सेड एज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड a movement along the demand curve is caused by a change in the price of the good other things remaining constant so we have already talked about factors affecting demand in our previous videos in which the first factor that we read was price of the good itself price of the good itself so when there is a change in price of the good itself then it will cause a movement along the demand curve other things remaining constant other things remaining constant means that the other factors which affects the demand for example the price of related goods income of the consumer taste and preference so all these other factors are assumed as constant clear movement along a demand curve can bring about expansion of demand and contraction of demand expansion or extension of demand refers to a rise in demand due to a fall in price of the good so it's simple that basically when price falls quantity demanded increases and this is known as expansion or extension of demand okay contraction of demand refers to a fall in demand due to a rise in price of a good so when price of the good itself rises quantity demanded falls and this is known as contraction of demand simple let's under let's understand this expansion and contraction part with the help of this schedule let's first focus on this original demand schedule original demand schedule so originally at a price of rupees 3 quantity demanded is 90 units and the reference point is a so we just need to plot this information only that at a price of rupees 3 quantity demanded is 90 units you can plot this information in this way that as you can see here we have two axes on the vertical axis we have taken price and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity at a price of rupees 3 quantity demanded is 90 units and the reference point is point a okay so we have plotted this information in this way fine now this is a revised demand schedule in revised demand schedule we have two cases contraction and expansion let's first focus on the expansion part what does expansion say expansion means that with the fall in price quantity demanded increases so when price falls from rupees 3 to rupees 2 quantity demanded increases from 90 units to 100 units at a price of 2 there is a quantity demanded of 100 units reference point is c let's plot this information at a price of 2 quantity demanded is 100 units reference point is c and the movement from point a to point c represents downward movement which means expansion of demand simple eh when price falls from rupees 3 to rupees 2 quantity demanded increases from 90 to 100 units and movement from point a to point c represents uh, re uh, represents downward movement as you can see this is a downward movement it is known as expansion of demand a downward movement from point a to a point such as point c shows expansion or more quantity demanded at a lower price clear now let's focus on the contraction part what does contraction say that when price increases quantity demanded decreases so when price increases from rupees 3 to rupees 4 quantity demanded falls from 90 units to 80 units 
at a price of 4, quantity demanded is 80 units, reference point is B. Let's plot this information. At a price of 4, quantity demanded is 80 units, reference point is point B and movement from point A to point B represents upward movement which is known as contraction of demand. So when price increases from rupees 3 to rupees 4, quantity demanded falls from 90 units to 80 units and the movement from point A to point B represents upward movement and this is known as contraction of demand. An upward movement from point A to a point such as point B shows contraction or lesser quantity demanded at a higher price. मैं last time मैं से conclude कर रहा हूँ concept को when price falls from rupees three to rupees two quantity demanded increases from ninety to hundred and this is known as expansion of demand. In case of expansion of demand there is a downward movement. Okay. When price increases from rupees three to rupees four quantity demanded decreases from ninety units to eighty units. This is known as contraction of demand. And in case of contraction of demand there is an upward movement. Okay, thank you.